Is it time to toss your Apple Watch for a Garmin VivoActive 3 music? This is Twit. I'm a runner, which means I've been aware of the cult following of the Garmin brand since long before the Apple Watch existed. But since 2015, when the Apple Watch came out, rarely does a day go by when I don't use my Apple Watch to track my activity rings, respond to my texts, set timers for all my tasks, or shout to the heavens, I'll give you my Apple Watch when you tear it from my cold, dead hands. So it took a while for me to take it off and replace it with a Garmin for a real test. But I did it for you, friends. The Vivo Active 3 Music is Garmin's mid-range watch. You can buy both more or less expensive Garmin's depending on your needs. Now, I've had this one since last summer, around the time that it was released. At CES this year, Garmin announced the Vivo Active 3 Music with LTE and Cellular with Verizon. Now, I'm not a fan of cellular watches. I think it's overkill, so I decided to stick with the basic model. My initial thoughts about the Vivo Active 3 Music is that it's round. It's very round. And if you've ever heard me talk about smartwatches, you know that I firmly believe that they should be shaped like little smartphones, which are not round. And I'm not saying this just because the Apple Watch is square. Previous versions of the Garmin have also been square, but this one is not. This one is round. Now, the greatest thing about the Vivo Active 3 is the battery. It's supposed to last up to seven days if you're using it as a watch and five straight hours if you're using it for GPS and music. Now, if you just need the GPS, it claims to last about 13 hours. The most I managed to get out of my review unit was about five days off a of charge, and that was working out with GPS for about 40 minutes a day. In retrospect, I could have saved some battery by turning it off at night. It does track your sleep, but I didn't use that feature. While a battery this big is great if you're going away for the weekend and you don't want to bring a charger, my general thought on charging devices is that if they don't need to be charged every day, I tend to forget to charge them. The watch charges with a four pin custom connector. I am so used to everything being USB-C or lightning these days that I managed to very quickly lose the charger and had to order another one on Amazon. The lens is made of Gorilla Glass, the case polymer and the strap silicone. The touch screen is 1.2 inches in diameter with a 240 by 240 resolution. The total weight of the device is 39 grams, which is lightweight for sure, but the plasticky feel of the watch made it seem a little bit flimsy to me. The band is comfortable and stayed clean. It's easy to remove if you want to replace it. Amazon has a nice selection of leather and faux leather bands that can turn this workout accessory into a beautiful fashion statement. The watch has 3.6 gigabytes of storage for up to 500 songs and 200 hours of activity data. Its water resistance is 5 ATM. That means you can wear it when you wash your hands or when you shower. It's fine in the rain and you can even wear it while swimming in a pool, but do not expect to go deep sea diving in it. The watch also has nine different sensors, including a heart rate monitor, a barometric altimeter, a compass, a gyroscope, accelerometer, thermometer, and more. The precursor to the Vivo Active 3 music included Garmin Pay through NFC. That means gone are the days when you have to stick your credit card in your sock and hope that it stays there long enough for your post-run cup of coffee or cocktail. Now you can pay with your Garmin. Now I have to admit that it seems weird to have another payment app, and I wish they would have integrated Apple Pay or Android Pay, but I assume Apple and Google are to blame for that. You can pair the Garmin to an iPhone or an Android phone, which makes it a good choice for people who switch between platforms. The app is super easy to use and offers a lot of stats on your activity and your stress levels. The Vivo Active is also preloaded with all kinds of workouts that can guide you through and track dozens of different exercise routines, including yoga, running, swimming, strength training, and many more. There are third-party Apple Watch apps that include running workouts like quarter mile repeats or timed intervals, but I liked how the Vivo Active 3 has these workouts built in. I found myself regularly using the run-walk treadmill workout because it notifies me with a vibration on my wrist when it's time to run and then when it's time to walk. I especially liked when it tells me that it was time to walk. This feature is also great for high-intensity interval training, known as HIT or Tabata workouts, both of which have come highly recommended by trainers I know. In theory, the Garmin can use its many sensors to know when you've completed 20 squats or 20 sit-ups, but I found that accuracy varies pretty greatly. You can download additional workouts into the Vivo Active 3 to spice things up. Runners will appreciate the attention to detail when it comes to tracking distance, pace, heart rate, and cadence with data screens you can customize based on your needs. You can also create training calendars if you have a big race coming up or if you're just a planner. The watch also tracks your VO2 max, fitness, age estimates, and lets you know how you handle stress. 
The watch performed pretty well for me. It took a while to figure out all the gestures, and it's certainly not as user-friendly as other wearables I've tried. If you want to see extensive testing on how it compares to other GPS running watches in terms of differences in heart rate readings, the median time to acquire GPS, and other very specific benchmarks, I recommend Amy Roberts' roundup on the wire cutter. As the name suggests, the Vivo Active 3 Music lets you store up to 500 songs on your device, which is great for those of us who cannot be alone with our own thoughts when we exercise. Pair your watch with your favorite set of Bluetooth headphones, sync it to your PC, and transfer your playlists. I have to say that the manual syncing feels a little like it's 2007 again and I'm using an iPod, but I love the idea of running with music and without my phone. You can download additional music apps, including iHeartRadio, though it's so far not compatible with Apple Music or Google Play Music, and it only recently got support for Spotify, even though this feature was sold as coming soon last year. You'll need a premium subscription to Spotify and iHeartRadio for offline listening to your podcast and your music. I also had some weird playback problems with the iHeartRadio app, but Spotify worked great. Your mileage may vary. Currently, the only other music apps in the store are Deezer, KKBox, AWA, Runcasts, Line Music, and Migu Music. In addition to the fitness tracking and the music playback, the Vivo Active 3 Music also offers you notifications from your smartphone. This is a great feature, except for the fact that you can't customize which notifications you get. I didn't test the watch with an Android phone, but with an iPhone, you can either receive all the notifications that you get on your phone or none of them. And that was a deal breaker for me. The Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music is regularly $299, but since it's been out for a few months, you can probably find a deal. When I recorded this, it was $270 on the Garmin site and $260 on Amazon. Mostly the Garmin Vivo Active 3 hits a middle place that I'm not that enthusiastic about. If you're an iPhone user and you're not a serious runner, I would recommend the Apple Watch. You can still buy the Series 3 Apple Watch for about the same price as this. If you're on Android, the Fitbit Versa also lets you store music and it is $100 cheaper. And if you are a serious runner and price isn't an option, then you might want to check out the Garmin Forerunner 645 with music for $500 or the Polar M600 with music for $329. Now, if you like that $270 price point and you mainly want to exercise by syncing your playlists to a watch and you want to pay with your watch and without your phone, then the Vivo Active 3 Music might be right for you. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.